for several weeks now I'm spending my time fixing this magnificent old plate. And I think now it's time to do something completely different. Now of course I'm not at all tired of fixing old machines, I really like to do this, but sometimes a little bit of changes, why not? So let's fix for example this one. As you can hear there is a lot of play here in the lead screw and the nut of the left and right movement for the table. And some time ago I already started making this uh, new lead screw. So today let's continue. Of course I didn't really disappear. First I have to take this machine apart. And here it is. Of course I had a little bit difficulties to take off this part. And as always from the moment I turned off the camera it came off very easily. But whatever. And as always there is of course again a problem because the part here is bigger than the thread, this one 20 mm, this one here 22 mm. And my material that I roughed out, this here is 21. So for the thread it will be okay, just cut off one millimeter and good to go. And this part here, too short. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it in two parts. I will cut off from the original one this part here and then bolt it and hold it with a pin in this one. I think it will also make it a little bit easier because I don't have to cut this thread. Now this is a metric 10 so normally no problem but the way in here I don't have the right cutter to make it. Now this is a other kind of keyway this one I could make but if I reuse this part I don't have to. All I have to do is recut this thread and the biggest problem will be this hole here is for a pin, a tapered pin, so a tapered hole and I don't have tapered remus. But we'll see what happens. My idea is to first cut this little part here at 14 millimeters until here. Of course the steady rest is installed but the fingers are not engaged so that will be for later. When this little part is cut I can take my part out, flip it around and then start working on this part here. I left this little part here 
one millimeter oversized because it is a bearing surface and I will finish it later and I'm a bit scared that I'm gonna mess up this uh, beautiful surface so let's uh, flip it around I think it would be better if I reinstall the top slide because now it's the fixed block thing system here and my cutting tool is in this line and the follow rest is in this line so I would like more to have my tool more or less in line with the fingers and not 50 millimeters off let's switch I wanted to set the top slide in an angle because when it's in line with the bed it's touching the tailstock and of course that's where I broke one of the T-bolts that holds the thing in place now luckily I can get them out without uh, taking all my old lathe hair apart but I suppose it's time for side project number one making new t bolts for the lathe and to make these i have i think exactly what i need this is a piece of a hard bolt now how hard i don't know but harder than the usual stuff so let's do Everything is installed and ready to go. And last time I played with this part, even with the follow rest, there was chatter. I changed cutting tool, I never used this one. So let's hope this time it will be a bit better.
Result, not good. Change cutting tool again. I installed a high speed steel tool. Which means the cutting speed will be way lower and this is going to take an eternity to cut the whole length. Two times at least. But we'll see. Of course now I have to reverse the feed because this cool tool has to cut that way. Let's uh, hope for the best. Two one hundredths of difference in thickness over the whole length. For the Imperials, a half a dowel. So I think that's a good result. And it also means I can start side project number two. And that is make a new cutting tool to cut my special thread here. I made one a few weeks ago. And I use it and it worked perfectly fine. But I had to cut the point off to make it in a steel uh, boring bar. So now of course I have to make a new one. Just from memory I was convinced that the angle of my cutting tool had to be 20 degrees. But I couldn't remember the width of the tip anymore. So I looked it up and it's 0.73. And that's where I found out that in fact my tool had needed an angle of 15 degrees and not 20. So I had to recut it. but. Here it is. Workpiece ready to go. Cutting tool square with my workpiece. So I think I'm ready to go. But there's maybe one little detail that I forgot. And that is of course installing the right change gears for a 2mm pitch. Right, all set. Here goes nothing. My special thread is almost finished. I have one pass to do and then a spring pass to clean it up. But there is a little bit a problem. While I was spinning the machine backwards to bring back the carriage, 
I see that it stopped moving. The lead screw doesn't spin anymore. The gear can't turn it off. The gears in the gearbox are spinning, but my lead screw. So before I can continue and then first of course uh, pick up the old thread, uh, first I have to figure out what went wrong in here. But that will be for another video because uh, I'm running out of time. But there's also good news. I received some cats this week from Nobby's workshop. And inside these cats there was of course stickers from his uh, channel. So as always the link for Nobby's channel is in the de description. And Nobby, thank you very much. And as you can see your sticker already found this place on the cheap door. And just one more little thing. After a nuclear explosion there is always the fallout. But no worries, this is just regular snow, nothing special.